Washington University School of Medicine is a national leader in infectious diseases because of our excellence in delivering on our tripartite mission of clinical care, research, and training the next generation of physicians and scientists. So infectious diseases is an incredibly dynamic specialty. One of the challenges is that you don't necessarily know what the issues are going to be tomorrow. And what happened three years ago in 2020 is a classic example of that. All of a sudden you have a new infection caused a worldwide pandemic and you have to turn around and deal with that. In research, Infectious Disease Division is really a global leader because of our dedication and commitment to the full arc of the research enterprise, from basic investigation to dissemination and implementation science. And really the COVID epidemic made clear how important the dedication to each aspect of this mission is. We have people who work at a population level, understanding what the issues are in the community, we have people who work at the hospital interface. We have people who work in basic science. And that breadth makes us one of the strongest infectious disease divisions in the country, if not in the world. The model of the infectious disease division here to move research from basic to clinical and implementation science is really exemplified by a number of the different efforts that we have in the division, including the vaccine center and our HIV work. The mission of moving basic to clinical science really involves supporting the basic scientists and then linking our basic investigators to our clinical research investigators and fostering those interactions. We're talking about taking a problem and looking at it from multiple different dimensions. We have great scientists who are studying how humans respond to infections, and from that, developing new vaccines to treat those infections. But if you just develop a vaccine and leave it in the laboratory, it doesn't benefit people out in the community. So you have to have the ability to then study that vaccine in real people. What it really takes is a team. It takes skills in the clinical research, in the diagnostics, in the ability to interact with patients and community, and skills in the laboratory. And what we've been very effective at is building those teams. One example is exemplified by our Center for Vaccines, and we have amazing investigators who lead in the basic research of understanding viral pathogenesis and immunity to viruses, and then to translate that information into therapeutics and vaccines that we can use in people. And so that involves their tight collaboration with our ID clinical research unit, which is so adept at doing the clinical trials and understanding the human immune response to vaccines. What we're doing that's unique here is not just getting blood before and after a vaccine or infection, but actually also getting lymph node biopsies, bone marrow biopsies, and looking at how the immune system actually responds to a vaccine. And we've been able to identify some really novel things about how the immune system responds Another example would be our HIV investigators who really study the basics of what it will take to get an HIV cure, but then they're able with the ID clinical research unit to study the viral reservoir in people or to look at the viral reservoir in Africa, the epicenter of the HIV epidemic. Our division has built the infrastructure for HIV research, which involves basic virology, immunology, clinic and translational research, as well as implementation and global outreach. All these areas have contributed to building a nurturing environment to support interdisciplinary HIV research. Right now, over 70% of HIV patients are in Africa. Less than 5% of the cure research is being done in Africa. Less than 5% of the cure research involve African patients or involve African scientists. So that is a huge disparity. With the help of Washington University, I was able to set up here at the University of Ghana. And with that, we now have a good cadre of people that we are training. So we hope to build this up and be able to increase the capacity in cure research in Africa. Our center is a relatively new center and it's focused on microbial pathogens. And we study them both at the most basic level 
trying to understand how to design vaccines which would target particular proteins from a virus or a bacteria, and then how to develop those into platforms for in vaccines. Subsequently, we do studies in preclinical models, and ultimately, if they're very successful, we would then move them through and to test them into humans in what are called phase one clinical trials, all being done through our vaccine center, all partnering with Washington University School of Medicine. Our vision for the Division of Infectious Diseases at Washington University is to continue our excellence in basic science, but really to accelerate the ability to translate those basic discoveries into new vaccines, diagnostics, therapeutics, so that we can have an impact on human health. But we can only do that if we remedy the inequities that we know are just baked into medicine and science and healthcare in this country. Because we have big goals and the only way to reach those big goals is to have everyone involved. It's not just about what we're doing now, it's about building for the future so that the next generation of infectious disease clinicians and researchers will have a great foundation that they can continue to make this contribution to improving the health of all the people.